Welcome back baseball fans. This is eliminating the Florida Marlins video. Um, they showed improvement from the previous year. Um, got to 17 and 21. The batting got better, pitching got a little bit worse. Not bad though. Got into the second round of the postseason. Last year they got knocked out in the first round. Their all-star was Manny Moda. 361 batting average with a homer and 22 RBI. Chico Simone had a nice year with 296, 8 and 26. Ken Suarez, minus two arm catcher at 337. I think his card's up, unfortunately. Um, the sticks were there in various spots. Davileo, Montanez have a nice stick. Pitching, different story. Just didn't do very well. Arlen, 5 and 4, the 542 ERA. His card's not that great either, really. And he just pitched. 200 innings and they picked him up off of the uh, unprotected list because he needed a guy who can pitch on three days rest and it shows he was only so-so. Bergmeier and Pena in the back of the bullpen. Uh, Bergmeier is a nice car though his ERA didn't show it. 491 ERA. You know uh, just tough competition for a uh, mixed bag a group of players like this so let's take a look now at what's going on in the future of a, a team we all know the Florida Marlins but we don't know them to exist in this time period so they have a fictional group of players first thing we'll do is we'll take their 69 cards away one two three four five Six, seven, eight. Okay. These eight gentlemen, we're going to have to figure out if they're going to come back or be retired. We'll do that at the end of the video. And these are your Florida Marlins moving forward. Steady progress the last couple years. Um, but these expansion teams have a tendency to go up and down, up and down, because it's, it's largely random as to who they end up getting on their team. They don't really get to continue guys' careers more than four years most of the time. They, however, do have a 7-5 split, which is opportunistic. Uh, pretty balanced number of hitters and pitchers, so they can draft comfortably in that regard. Let's see positionally who we have. Okay. So we have Hal McRae who really, even way back then, it looks like a DH, though you can plug him in at third and right field. Eli Rodriguez is a pretty mediocre catcher, but you can probably bump him up to one of his higher on-base percentage years. Uh, Willie Montanez, that's a nice solid first baseman. Can't hit lefties very well. In the middle, Gerardo and Gutierrez. Vic Davileo and uh, a solid left fielder. Repos, not so solid. Right fielder, at least he can field. Surprising number of homers for this repos card. 18 of them and 400 and some at-bats. Not very good in a league like as competitive as this one. And the five pitchers. You see here's Arlen. Um, again, he's anchoring it because he pitched 228 innings. This Blaza game card did alright. Had a 287 ERA and a complete game during the season. So that comes back. This Vance card did alright as well. Starter six, you might want to think of moving him up from a swing starter and give him the four spot. And of course, your back end is back, Bergmeier and Pena. So, you know, seven to five expansion team playing a division with the Mets, Braves, and Phillies. Phillies are still going to be kind of mediocre. They're still a couple years away from Mike Schmidt. And the Braves are. Yeah, the Braves are going to be good, and of course the Mets are going to be the favorite in that division. So it's going to be some, you know, tough time for the Marlins, as it always is. But let's see what happens to those other eight players. Okay, let's take a look at these Marlin players. And there's some talented players that uh, are moving on, and we got to decide what to do. Starting with the brilliant Manny Mota. He could still, look at that, 62 to 82, nice long career with the Dodgers. Um, who will play most of it with these Marlin team. They're not going to let him go. You know, he started with the Giants in Pittsburgh, Montreal, then he went to the Dodgers. But, um, 
he's going to play a bulk of uh, the Marlins. Don't want this guy to get away. I mean, <laughs> just look at the series of 300 years. So he's definitely a keeper. He was an all-star in 1973. Um, you don't see full seasons, but you get the idea that um, you'll get a full season out of this guy. Pick your year. Doesn't matter too much from 70 to 73. But obviously, Manny Mota is coming back to play baseball in Florida. All right, next up, Jose Pagan, taken out of the pirate system. Jose Pagan played from another old player, played from 59 to 73. He's getting up there. 69 was a really good year though, 285, 778 OPS. Now obviously he's getting over 35 and the numbers are starting to dip here. But in 70, he's still productive with a 265 batting average. And I think you can bring him back. I mean, this was a super expansion team. You need all the help you can get. So I'm sure we're going to see some weaker players coming up. Chico Ruiz. Here he is. No, not him. Unless there's two of them. And there are. Not that Chico Ruiz. This one. From 64 to 71. There he is. He was with the Reds. Amongst some teams here. The Reds and Angels. So we use that 69 card. And we pretty much get similar performances. In 70 and 71. The question is, did they make his card in 70 and 71? They're not going to make it in 71 with 19 at bats. But do they make it in 1970? Let's go to the uh, Super D's site, superdeez.tripod.com slash somrosters.html. It's a great resource. Gary's roster page. Let's look at the 70 reprint and see if they made a Chico Ruiz card for the Angels in 1970. California Angels, C. Ruiz, his card exists. That's good news. Do you want to bring him back? Do you want to put him on waivers? Well, the performance is not overwhelming. So for the moment, let's put him on waivers. You can waive a guy whose card exists. You cannot waive a guy who retires, who doesn't have a card left. So he's on waivers now. He can play for anybody. Hopefully, we'll find two more players better than him. And it will start by examining Chico Simone. Tim Salmon or Chico? Here he is. Chico Simone was with the Orioles in 69, uh, 70, and 71. Got a ring, I believe, in 70 for him. Uh, we just used this 69 card limited amount of plate appearances but he was pretty awesome 297 826 OPS yeah he does come back with the Orioles in 70 almost as good slight drop off we can take a peek and see I'm pretty sure he's with the Orioles here yes he is and uh, he had a big year in the year we just had so he could really be a keeper or a waiver. Let's have him be a keeper for the moment. And uh, we can always kick him over into waivers if we find better guys. Next up is Ken Southbound Suarez. Which is off of the... Uh, what Zeppelin album is that off of again? I forget. Anyway. 69. There it is. Ken. He was a Cleveland and Texas player. There's Ken Suarez. And he had a nice year in 69. I'm, I'm assuming backing up Fosse. Boy, that's an embarrassment of riches when your backup's sitting 294. Doesn't play in 1970, so he doesn't he does not qualify for waivers. And then when he resumes his career, it's not that pretty. He can always come out of retirement. Let's retire him, though. Ken Suarez, nice year. Nice couple years with that 69 card. It was a lot of fun. Minus two arm. Uh, we're going to retire him. He can come out of retirement. As those players do get examined um, in later years. Let's move to the pitching staff. We're going to start with Mike Kilkenny. 
the only KILK player in baseball. Starts in 69, ends in 73. Well, that's what we want to analyze. Was a Tiger. Tiger, Tiger, and then he moved all over the place. Oakland, San Diego, and Cleveland. So, 69 was the year we just had. Nice year for a lefty. 337 ERA, buck 26 whip. 70, um, yeah, he's going to qualify for waivers with 129 innings. They always pit, uh, let those guys continue. But it's not very good. 71, he also, is. he might have a 71 card. And in 72, he's all over the place in both leagues and only pitched 64 total innings. Interesting, Loa, his ERA is good. So... The long and short of it is that he qualifies for waivers, so let's put him there. Again, wavered players you can always bring back anyway, but it's not that hypercritical. And this is making the Chico Simone situation look like he is going to be a keeper. Still two, two guys to go. Casey Cox. All right. And there he is. 66 to 73. There's Casey Cox for the Washington Senators. Also, he went to Texas in the move and then finished in New York. So 69, that is the Casey Cox card we use. That's a good one. 12 and 7, 278, 171 innings. Comes back in 70. His ERA goes way up, but his whip is about the same. I'm guessing the long ball? Yeah. Too many home runs. But it's workable. And in 71, same kind of whip. A little bit lower ERA. They made his card there. 72. No 73. 72, they probably made his card. He's got three years left. Casey Cox does. Gosh, you could wave him or keep him. Six and one, one half dozen of, you get the idea. For now, let's keep him. Well, the ERA is a little bit high, but this team could use a pitcher. Their, their pitching was not very good this year. Right now, we're going to keep him. We can still wave him if we change our mind. Last pitcher, Dave Leonard. This is the first look at all the keepers, waivers, retired guys. And a lot can change before the draft, which is in the spring of 2022. Oh, my goodness. Sounds crazy to say that. 2022. Dave Leonard, Orioles. Did he get any rings with the Orioles while he was there? 28 innings and 70. Probably wasn't on the roster for the World Series. Um, so the 69 card was is one of his best years. Continued for three more years. Ah, that 71 card would be nice. They made it. That's what you want right there. Did they make it? 54 innings? Let's take a look. So we're going to go to that resource page again. And we're going to go... To to the 71 reprint. And it's not actually it's a 71 original. That's this this I have to know what you're looking at here. So it's 69 and 70 reprints is what I have. But I have original 71 and original 72. This I don't know if they made a reprint of the 72. So that would be pretty wild. Um, but anyway, 71 original. And you're gonna see it's gonna say 72 at the top, right? Because this was printed so that you could play the game the following year. That's why, you know, it says 72 up top there. And you see the old print. This is the this is the first super advanced roster sheet. The 71 season. So we're looking for Dave Leonard for the Orioles. And we have the Orioles right here. He's not there. But let's keep going because we do have extra pitchers and extra players. A little further down. Aw. Oh, Dare Ample Hall Mountain Salmon. Aw. Oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame there. No no Dave Leonard? Why not? How about down here in the errata at the bottom? No, not there either. Well that's a shame. So no 71 Dave Leonard card in 54 innings. I guess they figured the Orioles didn't need it. <laughs> they had four 20-game winners on that team. They, did, they could probably not have any extra pitchers and be fine. But, you know what I noticed is that the 71 Salmons card was printed in that small sample size. Was that year any good? I didn't think it was a good year. 
No, it wasn't. So Boo Stratomatic, you printed the 71 Chico Simone card as a buck 79 hitter, and you wasted all our time. You should have. <laughs> we didn't need to see that card, and I'm sure Chico didn't need to see that card either with a 466 OPS. You made that card, but you didn't make Dave Leonard's card, and that is critically wrong here for the Florida Marlins. Sorry, Florida, you got jobbed on that one. And the Orioles did not get jobbed, as they had neither player. So Dave Leonard is going to be retired. Unless, yeah, let me uh, check one more thing to see if we want to use his 70 card. No, it's only 28 innings. He's done. I mean, if you didn't print a 54 inning card, you shouldn't be printing 28 and 20 inning cards with worse ERAs. So we're retiring him in, in any of any event because he's not very good except for that one year. So when we do it this way, as it turns out, they've got the perfect combination. They have the four keepers, two waivers, and two retires, the 40202 you want. So Florida would be ready to go into the offseason and into the draft doing it this way. Bringing back one pitcher, three hitters, waving and retire those guys, and you're bringing back Moda, Simone, and Pag and Pagan. So that's it today for eliminating Florida Marlins. Hope you're enjoying the elimination videos. We'll see you next time.